Hi everyone, today I'm going to be sharing a quick highlight reel that showcases what I've been working on the past four years as part of my PhD thesis, which looks at how northern fish might be responding to cumulative or combined environmental changes. A common question posed to northern conservation scientists is, why look at things like climate change and human influence in the north when southern regions tend to be both warmer and more impacted by human activities? Well, it's because northern regions arguably have a heightened risk because they're changing fast. They're experiencing warming rates two to three times global levels, which is having drastic impacts on the northern landscape, as well as the many plants, animals, and people that call the north home. For my PhD, I looked at how co-occurring environmental effects were influencing fish in three different northern regions as shown on the map here. This is what we have found. First, we saw that sensitive species declines appear to be amplified in boreal regions that were experiencing warming in combination with increased human development or increased rainfall. And we reasoned that fish that were already stressed by warming waters may be additionally vulnerable to added stresses, such as increased sedimentation or navigation barriers such as culverts or dams. Then, looking further north, the impacts of human development appeared less pronounced overall, and instead climate change took center stage. We found that the effects of climate change appeared nuanced and complex, with warmer temperatures leading to potential increases in overall fish diversity and abundance, but contributing to declines for northern specialists such as Arctic grayling and Dolly Varden. Another potential exception to seeing warming benefits was found in small northern lakes, which appeared to be more vulnerable to indirect environmental effects on water quality and were linked to species and productivity declines. Climate change effects on some species also vary depending on the local environmental conditions, potentially leading to local gains and losses. So for example, shown here, we found that warmer spring and fall temperatures may be helping Pacific salmon, whereas waterfall conditions were linked to declines. And then finally, with respect to how our findings may impact northern people, we found that fish species important for indigenous citizens may be negatively affected with continued environmental changes, um, including species such as whitefish, Dolly Varden, and Pacific salmon. And here is everything I just covered summarized into one slide. So uh, briefly again, what we found was that Although warming may be leading to more species and more fish overall, we saw plenty of potential uh, caveats, uh, especially if there was any uh, other additional stressors in the watersheds. And importantly, we saw that there can be local species losses and gains depending on the local environmental conditions, and this can translate into impacts on northern food security and culture. So how can results from our research help conserve northern biodiversity? Our research strongly suggests that climate change needs to be considered when making decisions about other human impacts to the environment. Otherwise, we may overestimate how many fish we can sustainably harvest or allow too much development in climatically sensitive watersheds, leading to greater than expected impacts on valued fish species. And as climate change, human development, and fishing pressures are expected to increase in tandem across northern regions, Making these precautionary and evidence-based management decisions will be key for conserving northern biodiversity, as well as for honoring the constitutionally protected rights of thousands of northern indigenous citizens amid these continued environmental changes. And with that, I would like to thank the many people and organizations listed here for supporting my PhD journey, as well as the Canadian Aquatic Resources section of AFS for inviting me to speak today. Thank you.